So looking at all of your film from last season, I wanted to break down specifically what you do the most and kind of pinpoint areas that are your strengths and some areas that uh, could be opportunities for you in this next coming year and um, going forward. So looking at your three-point shooting, you shot 42.6% on 108 three-point attempts, which is a good number. Um, I analyzed all of the misses, so to break down 13 to the left, 21 short and 15 long, and 14 to the right. So not missing right to left, so that's always a great sign. So just a few things. Um, everything looks really good. I just wanted to know one thing I do notice between your short misses and your makes on um, these makes notice how you extend up more so than out it's a clean snap of the wrist straight at the basket and you get good elevation on the shot so just to show kind of what I'm talking about and see if you kind of notice it at all on these uh, shots right here notice how you are going out more than up with your shooting arm. So it's kind of uh, your shooting arm is going forward in front of your guide hand rather than up straight to the side of your guide hand like you are on most of your makes. So those are just kind of looking at um, the short misses right there. So the most common thing you do, um, the middle third ball screen into a pop for the three. Um, you shot this a lot. It was the most common one throughout last season, and I'm assuming it's going to be um, similar with the Dream this coming year. Um, so don't mind to make sure to miss this here, but um, just a good screen, being able to stay low and create space off of that pop uh, will be big for you, and I think something that uh, will really benefit you to continue to work on. So now the second one was uh, kind of the side ball screen or slip. So this will be popping out typically to the wing. Here we go. Low ball screen, pop out into the three. So I think just going through these actions, repping them out, working on staying low, creating a lot of space from the ball handler so you can get... Um, so you can have a lot of time to release your shot. It's going to be um, a big deal for you. And then this one's a slip. So yeah, breaking everything down, um, you shot 42.6% from three, which is a great percentage, especially on 108 attempts. This next coming year, I think you can definitely go 45 or above um, just with your versatility and the open looks you're going to get. So off the pick and rolls or pick and pops, you shot 46.2% from the field. I think you could easily get up to 50% uh, this coming year. So off of this, off of your ability to shoot the three, and off of uh, your versatility on the pick and roll, I think attacking closeouts, um, as you shoot the, you keep shooting the ball better, teams are going to close out even harder on you. So I think a quick shot fake, rip throughs, and just getting to the basket um, will really benefit you a lot. Um, play in transition, out of anything offensively, that was your lowest percentage, but I think you're athletic enough to be able to get up and down the floor and make plays off the dribble. Um, doing that as well and then also just going through your pick and roll actions so just continuing to master that uh, master your decision making of when the roll when the pop um, making the catch once you make the catch notice if you have time to shoot it or shot fake and drive it and kick or shot fake drive and score so I think just uh, mastering that part of the game will be um, crucial for you in your development as well so Thanks.